October is nearly here, and that means the release of the LEGO Star Wars UCS Jabba Sail Barge is nearly upon us, and today we have our first look at the set, which we're going to take a look at in today's video. If you do enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video and comment your thoughts in the comment section below, and feel free to subscribe to the channel as it's free and it really helps out a lot. With all that being said, let's jump into the leaked set image. And so here is our first look at the new LEGO Star Wars 75397 Jabba's Sail Barge. This set has 3,942 pieces and is rumored to be releasing on on October 1st for 500 US dollars. That is a very hefty price for a set like this, but we're gonna take a look at all that we can see here from this first front box art and see and determine if it really is worth that $500 price tag. So even from the front look here, it looks like a very imposing model. I think the lighting is also really great here. Um, it sort of centers on the middle of the barge while getting darker in the back. I think this looks really, really good. Obviously, the mold and design of the ship is quite accurate. I think it looks really close to the source material that the designers followed. You have all the minifigures there up top, at least most of them. I don't see Jabba up there, nor do I see a couple of his um, helpers. But you have a Gamorrean guard there along with R2-D2 with a serving tray. Also, C-3PO, hopefully, he has the arm printing and dual molded legs that we've seen over the past couple of years on him so that should be hopefully a good addition also you have a wolf and a vizlam i believe those are the two um guards names and you also see slave leia there she has been quite controversial over the past couple of years but lego does seem to have made her again um she has a new hairpiece along with um a um, dual molded legs that seemingly have a skirt um the skirt is made out of dual molded legs so it's a little bit different than what we saw in the past where the front was just printed on on. Now the, um, the sides and the back are likely going to be printed all over. So it's a different version than what we've seen over the years, but this looks really good. In the back, we likely have a couple of the engine boosters. And then inside, this is rumored to have a full interior. So likely it's going to have Max Rebo's piano room and also Jabba's um, sort of throne room. And also Bib Fortuna is rumored to be in the set along with Salacious Beat Crumb. So overall, 11 minifigures is a really decent um, amount for a set like this. It's sort of a merge between the Master Builders and the UCS um, series. So I'm very excited for this one. It's one of the most minifigures we've seen in a UCS set in quite a long time, probably since 2020 and the release of the Moss Eisley Cantina. But let me know your thoughts on this set. I personally think that it's a little bit overpriced. 400 or 450 would have been a lot closer to a better value. But overall, it's a good looking set. The minifigure lineup is quite stacked and I'm excited to see some reviews on the set, which should hopefully be out soon. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoyed and have a great rest of your day and goodbye.